Why does rain sometimes smell? Get the umbrellas out, this episode is going to be a wet one. The first time it rains after a long period of dry weather, sometimes there is that distinct smell that seems to accompany rain. What is that? This natural phenomenon does in fact have a name. It's called petrichor, named after the Greek words petra, meaning stone, and ichor, meaning <clears throat> the fluid that flows through the veins of the gods. Bit dramatic, that last one, eh? Who do you think coined this petrichor term? I'll give you three guesses. Time's up. Anyone guess the Greeks? Nope, that would be far too easy. It was in fact coined back in the ancient times, of 1964. Two Australian researchers described this phenomenon in the scientific research journal Nature, and the term they used, petrichor, has stuck around ever since. So what actually is it? Why does it sometimes smell when it rains? Well, when the rain falls on the dry soil, certain chemicals lying in the soil are dispersed up into the air. These chemicals partly include oils from certain plant life, but the majority of that muddy, earthy smell come from bacteria. If you didn't know, I work with bacteria in a research laboratory, so this makes me very happy. The soil living bacteria phylum, actinobacteria, produce a compound called geosmin. Again, the Greeks played a part in naming this one, but again, the Greeks didn't actually name it. The word is comprised of the Greek words for earth and smell. Any Greek fans of the show? Hi, how's it going? Thanks for watching. And for giving us lots of sciencey names. This geosmin compound is produced by a certain type of bacteria called streptomyces, and they release it when they die. These organisms are incredibly complex, and they're actually one of our largest reservoirs of new antibiotics. When we go to the doctors for a bacterial infection, usually we get given antibiotics and are on our way relatively quickly. But the bugs are fighting back, and they are becoming resistant to these antibiotics. This is known as antimicrobial resistance. You might have already heard of it. It's a big issue right now, and is set to become one of the biggest healthcare issues if we don't fix the problem fast. One of the ways we do this is by making new and different types of antibiotics that the resistant bacteria aren't used to, and this helps kill them off. Streptomyces naturally produce loads of new antibiotics under the right conditions, and with a bit of biological engineering know-how. So next time you smell petrichor from the rain, you'll know that you are right by an organism that could very well save the world in the near future. When it rains, or is about to rain in a thunderstorm, the smell often can be very different. The streptomyces take a break from this one. The smell in the air during a thunderstorm is all down to ozone. The electricity of the lightning enables breakdown of nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the Earth's atmosphere. This leads to another set of reactions which produce ozone, which go by the chemical formula O3. Now normally, ozone acts as a protective barrier high in the Earth's atmosphere against the sun's UV rays, but we never normally get to smell it. During a thunderstorm, it's much lower down, and so we get to smell ozone. It has a chlorine-like, watery, metallic, bleach-like smell to it. It's pretty unique and quite hard to describe. What do you think it smells like? I'd love to see all your comments. Does it smell different in different regions of the world? Let us know down below. My name is Danny Ward, and this was Knowledgeka. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay hungry for factuality.